welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because we're putting out these bang bang. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about um my major because honestly, I don't know. When I was trying to, when I was first getting into college, I didn't know what to study and I didn't know what I wanted to do because you're committing to four years of boosh. Okay, I'm kidding. But no, you're literally committing yourself to do something for four years and if you don't like what you're doing you're gonna be miserable period major in what i study now if you go back to a couple of videos i think it was like two videos ago you would know that i am a chemistry major i have a concentration in biochemistry and i have a minor in biology so like i said i study a lot of science and um the reason i came to want to study the reason i wanted to study what I chose to study, which is for the most part chemistry, is because when I was in high school, I had this teacher and um, he really made chemistry fun. Uh, and yeah, it was something I just liked. I liked because I don't know, he made he made chemistry manageable. And I know that if you have a bad chemistry, you know, chemistry teacher, you're probably not going to like chemistry. You're probably going to be like, girl, that's too hard. I'm not doing it. But good Thing for me that my teacher was a good teacher. He taught us like really well. He went over every concept really well. And I ended up making like a 98, I made an A in the class or something. So, and it was just fun. Like I liked doing the stuff that he taught us. I liked working on problems. I liked the way he taught us and everything. So when I got into college, um, it's like when, I, up until the point where I got into college, I still didn't know what I wanted to study. I didn't even think to study chemistry. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to college because this is what is asked for me, period. Like this, my parents wanted me to go to college. You know what? You want me to go to college? Okay, I'll go to college. And plus I didn't have anything else going for myself. Like my parents never asked anything from me. Like I, my parents never asked me to like get a job or just nothing. Like my parents never asked me about, for nothing like that. They just wanted me to focus on school, so. That's basically why I chose the degree that I did or my major because in high school I had a good experience with it and honestly if you have a good experience with like any class that you take in high school like I feel like and you like because like I said if I wouldn't have liked my teacher if I wouldn't have liked what I was studying I probably would not be doing chemistry like I would not like girl no and so I enjoyed it and that's what I decided that I wanted to spend the rest of my four years doing. So, um, like I was saying, before I went into college, I did not know what I wanted to study. Even when I was, I was in orientation, I still didn't know what I wanted to study. So, up until the point where I got into my counselor's office, my under, like, my freshman counselors, because you go to, or at least in the college I go to, I go to the University of Memphis. Um, the first year, you get, like, just a regular counselor. Then, after you declare a major, you get, like, placed into whatever you know courses or whatever you get a different counselor basically i remember i went into the office and she was like oh do you know what you want to major in yada 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 and i was like mm, chemistry i just said it and she was like at low-key the lady at my counselor office was not supportive at all she was like um are you sure you want to do chemistry like it's that's kind of hard like are you sure and i was like girl don't underestimate me what is wrong with you miss bro i'm just kidding i'm not going i'm not going to say yeah she was just kind of being like not supportive she was just being like mm, you can't do that and girl you're not about to tell me what i can't do period period what's wrong with these folks this, this is what i'm gonna do and now that you told me i couldn't do it i'm gonna do it even more and I just felt like, I just felt like she was trying me. Like, that lady was really trying me. I, she was like, mm. And then, it turns out she was going to be one of my teachers for that semester for, like, ACAD, which is just basically just trying to get you prepared during the um, school year, basically. And so, I felt like that lady was really trying me that day. And I called my parents. I was like, y'all, this lady in this counselor office is really tripping right now. Talking about some, mm, are you sure? That's a little hard. Like, girl, when I get my degree next year, I'm a smack her with it but anyways yeah so that's basically a story on how i got into my degree plan basically now i'm going to talk to y'all about a little bit about my degree like what it is that if you want to choose if you decide that you want to go for you know chemistry degree you want to study biochemistry you want to study biology but it's especially chemistry because not that many people um 
you know, go into college and they're like, oh, I want to do chemistry. Like, I know there's people that go into college wanting to do biology because they want to, you know, become a doctor or anything like that. Um, oh, with my degree, I plan on going to dental school or do research. That's what I want to do with my degree. But anyway, so about my um, degree or what you could expect about um, a chemistry degree or biochemistry degree or biology. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, you're gonna obviously have to work really, 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 girl, really hard. I be crying sometimes, not gonna cap. Uh, sometimes you gotta prioritize which class you, you is a little bit more important because it's a lot of science. It's a lot of just stuff you have to learn. It's a lot of formulas. It's a lot of concepts you have to learn. So, sometimes you're gonna have to prioritize what you think is a little bit more important because sometimes, yo, no cap. I feel like these professors be going into an office and they'd be like, yeah, we all gonna put this test on the same day. It's, it's no way they, they not doing that. Like they have to, y'all, these folks be putting tests on the same day. They be tripping out. Sometimes you gonna have to see which one you have to study for more, or which one you have to study for less, or maybe like which average is better. So you can, you can like, can afford to not get the best of average on the next test or maybe you need to study for one a little bit more because your average is, isn't the best. You just have to balance all that out. It's like, it's okay if you don't pass a class. Like, it is okay. I remember I failed, like, one class. My, like, my, um, I failed, like, one class, like, my second semester, and I just, like, retook it, and it was fine. And I'm still going to graduate on time. I took it again, got an A or something. So, it's okay if you just can't pass a class. Like, it's, they're hard classes, so it's okay. The people will understand. Your counselors will understand. Your teachers will understand. Like, they're not going to, people, people, it happens. Not even just uh, in a chemistry degree but it just happens in general in college and that's okay like you go at your own pace but I am gonna graduate in them four years you dig I ain't about to be in them motherfucking for no more than four years cuz I'm not doing it and yo if you really if you go into college and you really want to do something don't switch your major just because you fail a class like I said my first semester when I was actually into my um, science classes, I failed a class and I was not about to switch my major, boo boo. I was not about to do it. Like, y'all have me messed up. Especially since that lady and my counselor was like, mm, that's too hard. No, I'm not about to switch my major because then I would have to go talk to her again and I wasn't doing it. No, period. That lady had me so messed up. Um, but anyways, classes you could expect to take with a, a chemistry degree, you're obviously going to have to take organic chemistry. My advice for organic chemistry is make flashcards of all like the reactants and reactions that you have to know and the you know things like that make flashcards and just make sure you know um all of that basically just make flashcards uh mechanisms i till this day hate mechanisms mechanisms i just despise um my tip for that is watch youtube videos practice i know a lot of people tell you to practice but honestly that is literally all you can do at this point like you have to practice what you're being taught because if you don't especially in organic you're not gonna pass it like you're just not like girl organic is not a joke that class is so so filled with information that you just have to know for the test and you never know what the teacher's gonna put on the test so you might as well study it all oh another thing don't wait till a couple days before the test to start studying like that was one thing I did and I shouldn't have done um I just would like wait for a couple days before the test and then start studying like in intensively yo don't do that like as soon as your professor gives you something to study like go home and study it for like an hour or something like that may not feel like it's doing nothing but honestly it's better to do that than to cram my biology biology is basically a whole lot of memorization like you have to memorize a lot of things i don't think it's as hard as chemistry just because chemistry you have to be able to understand a concept and be able to apply that concept um, biology is basically you're just memorizing stuff and spitting it back out. You don't want to fail. Like, you don't want to fail. Like, you do not. Um, especially if you're trying to get out of there. Or you can even try to graduate early. Like, if you're trying to graduate early, take them summer classes. I'm starting summer classes on the 28th. So, there's something. You have to be willing to put yourself out there in those classes so that you're... you're Because you're not the only one in that class. Like, you're not the only one that's going to be struggling. Even though, for some reason... 
the science people, like the science kids, are always like smart ass. Like they always think they know it all. Some think they know it all or some do know it all or some there's other kids like you if you are struggling that are struggling too so get with them and get with other people so y'all can help each other out and also don't compare yourself to like other people in the classroom because you never know they might be putting in extra extra work um they might be studying doing some studying before the class even started so they can be ahead of the class so don't compare yourself to how somebody else in the class is doing because you're just gonna put yourself in like a bad place so just don't do that do your best make sure you ask the teacher for help if you need it ask your students ask your classmates for help because i'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody in the motherfuckers that need help too be consistent want it don't just switch your major because it's getting difficult like push through and dig deeper i need videos about like help with a certain topic um, in chemistry I might do that too if like people need that because um like chem general chemistry um chemistry 2 organic I've already passed all those in organic I've already passed like all those classes biology biology 2 I've passed all those classes so if y'all need some help with like any topic I'm I'm willing to like you know do some videos on it just so y'all can get a little bit extra help because Honestly, some of the videos on YouTube about some topics, yo, some of these people, I don't know what they talking about. Like, they do the absolute most, most, like, most. Some, some videos are good, but others, I don't even know what they saying. Like, I don't even understand what they talking about. Like, it ain't nothing, it has nothing to do with what I'm studying in class. Or if it does, it's like going briefly. Like, girl, I need you to get these examples out. But yeah, that's all I had to say about this because sometimes you need a video that's not just telling you like, oh, this, this and that, this, this and that, but actually be real about the struggles and all the things you have to go through because it is a lot. I've cried like, yo, I've cried. I've just felt like I couldn't do it anymore. I felt like I'm about to fail a class. I felt all of that. And sometimes it's it's easy to be like, oh yeah, you should do this. Oh yeah, chemistry major, woo. Yeah, 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 people think you're so smart. But sometimes you need somebody to tell you like, yo, it's not all fun and games. You have to put in that work. It's not easy. You have to work for that. Like you really have to work for that shit if you want it and if you want to pass those classes because they're not easy y'all like but yeah that was it for today's video that's basically how i got into my major and like basically what i do in my major um obviously this is really broad video if you want segmented videos like little smaller videos about the topic um i i can do that obviously but yeah that was it that's all i had to say so that was it for today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel because we're putting out these bangers you did um peace Chagarun, 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 and I'm